The Douglas County School Board has named Erin Kane as the sole finalist to become the district's next superintendent, but her pick didn't come without controversy. Denver 7 education reporter Nicole Brady sat down one on one with Erin Kane to ask about some of the specific issues dividing the district and how she hopes to bring people together. A, a divided district, um, no doubt. How do you get to work and stay focused when this other stuff is going on? I have to talk to everyone, mm -hmm. and I've already started doing that. I want to make sure that I talk to um, people on both sides of that issue. I really want to be talking to, and I have already started talking to, people who don't agree with mm -hmm. the majority board, um, as well as people who do. And You're coming from the charter school environment. Should we expect that as superintendent you'll be on the side of charter schools? Will we see any more focus on, on promoting the work they're doing? Charter schools are a great part of our public school system. Um, here in Douglas County, 75% of our kids attend their neighborhood schools and 25% of our kids attend charter schools. And that's a great balance. Mm -hmm. That means we have something for everyone. But in terms of being the superintendent of Douglas County, as I did for the two years um, that I was interim superintendent. I will be fighting for all of our kids and all of our schools. What does equity mean to you? Do we need an equity policy in this district? And, and how do you make sure Douglas County is equitable? I don't know anyone that is against taking care of every single child in our school district. I don't know anyone that's against differentiating resources for our kids. Mm -hmm. Some kids are gonna need more resources than others, and that's okay, that's mm -hmm. what equity means to me. We do have a school district in Colorado that uh, voted to explicitly ban critical race theory, which we have no evidence necessarily that's being taught in Douglas County Schools or any, any school district right now. Would you ever support language ar around a ban on critical yeah. race theory? I, I, I'm not really a person who would support banning anything, um, but I think we need to have conversations and again have clarity around what we're teaching and what we're not. And you can see more of Nicole's interview, including Aaron Kane's answer about arming teachers in schools tomorrow morning on Denver 7 News at 5 and 6 a.m.